Bryant. I am president of the board of directors for Opportunity Village. Appreciate very much everyone who's come today, and I uh, know we will have more folks uh, throughout the afternoon walking in. I uh, just want to give you a couple of introductory remarks uh, about uh, this project for those who don't know the whole uh, history uh, behind it uh, and the like, and then we'll invite the uh, mayor to speak and uh, any of our villagers who want to give us a greeting. Um, and then uh, Andrew Heaven is going to uh, walk us through the next phase, the vision for Emerald Village, Eugene, which is really an exciting project that we're pleased to uh, introduce today. Um, I attended a conference uh, just a few weeks ago up in Portland on homelessness and uh, heard there Lloyd Pendleton, who is a loaned executive from Ford Motor Company, who is now the head of the Homeless Task Force in Utah. And Utah has really made the news recently uh, because they have drastically reduced the number of chronic homeless in Utah by 74%. Uh, built uh, over 900 units uh, for the chronically homeless. Uh, very impressed with the message uh, he shared with us in that conference. Um, and he, he said, it's not the, the homeless citizens who need to change, it's us who need to change. Um, and, and I think this village is a, is a great illustration of that. Uh, he quoted a, um, an, uh, 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 um, an Aborigine from Australia um, who uh, some group had come to provide some kind of assistance for the impoverished local community there of native peoples and this woman told him if you come to help me you can go home but if you see my survival as part of your struggle then perhaps we can work together Ooh, yeah. and I love that image what we are doing here is not so much or not just about helping 30 to 40 of our homeless citizens uh, find shelter. It's about building a stronger community and improving the quality of life for all of our citizens. Um, because ultimately the value of a community is not determined by those who live at the top in their multi-million dollar homes with grand vistas. It's determined by those at the bottom with the street view. Uh, that that's how you determine the value uh, of a community. And so we have built here, as a community effort, uh, a, a, a microcosm of a community of people who care for one another, working together with a variety of folks from the community in order to improve our whole community. <laughs> Uh, part of our belief is that the economic system is broken and that we have created a system that puts decent, good people on the street um, who, if given an opportunity and shelter, can do for themselves. Um, it's not what we do for them, it's giving them that opportunity to do for themselves. And it's not so much that people, that the people are broken and need fixing, but rather that uh, the system is broken and needs fixing. And so what we have, are seeking to do here is to create a space within that system because I think, if, you know, we're not going to change the system all by ourselves, um, but we can create a place to give a different vision for how we work together as a community um, to help every, to give a space for every individual to do for themselves what no one else can do. Uh, and so this work really began with Occupy, that whole Occupy movement. And it was out of that movement when middle class folk who knew that the system was broken and we needed to do something to change it, came in contact with so many people living on the street. And, and the eyes of our community were really open that we had to do something different. Um, and out of that, uh, the, the mayor's task force met for six months working on some uh, solutions and identified uh, the, the first priority was just creating a, a place uh, to be 
and, and then out of that uh, comes uh, Opportunity Village that <laughs> opened its doors, uh, its gate uh, with 16 people back in August and, and has added units steadily through this time through good work of volunteers and donations of the community now to this point where uh, we have finished the building phase of the structures and now continue the work of building the community and, and bringing together all the resources we need uh, so that people can find the assistance they need, can get the tools they need, have the time to heal uh, from living on the street, uh, have the time to educate themselves, better themselves, uh, and to find their way in our community. Um, continue to contribute as the good citizens that they are. So we're very excited that we have made it to this point. And uh, I want to begin then with uh, introducing our mayor because the support we received uh, from the city, city, from all the way down uh, from Mayor Piercy and the city council to city staff, the city manager, the planning department, uh, we have the, the support we've gotten from the, city, from the city has just been tremendous. So we're very appreciative, Mayor Piercy, for the work that you do.